I want to share with you a very important privacy lesson right now that could keep you from being bugged, having somebody spy on you, and it has to do with this ridiculous looking picture right here. Uh, my name is Jason Hansen. I'm a former CIA officer, and yes, this picture is me. So here's the backstory and why I'm holding this up. So over Christmas, or before Christmas, my wife and I were lying in bed, and she was scrolling through her phone. I was reading a book, and she says, hey, I think I might get you this for Christmas. So she turns her phone to me, and on half of the screen, I see a normal looking guy, and on the the other half of the screen, I see his head basically photoshopped on a painting. And it's on various warriors, like a Viking warrior, like this, etc. And I look at my wife, like she's got three heads, and I said, what? And she says, yeah, supposedly, like all these women are buying this for their husbands, and there's a woman who hand paints you on type of some warrior body. And again, I look at her like she's from outer space, she's lost her mind, and she says it's only $80. And I say, well, I say calm, not as calmly as this, $80? Like, please, 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 do not spend $80 getting a painting of me on some warrior body. Like, please do not do that. Well, I told a bunch of people about this, and lo and behold, after Christmas, a couple weeks after Christmas, because I don't check my mail that often, I had this fantastic looking piece of artwork here. And clearly I was wrong about it, and clearly this needs to go up in the office here. And I had some people, I had part of my YouTube video team say to me, like, you're not really gonna hang that in your office, are you? Yes, I am. So here is the privacy lesson behind this. Many, many moons ago, there was an intelligence operation and there was a very high ranking politician of a foreign government and we, as in the United States government, wanted to bug this politician's home. Obviously, we wanted to listen in. We wanted to find out what the government was doing. So of course, you've got to do research on this guy. You've got to find everything about him. You've got to find who his friends are. You've got to find a middleman, also known as an access agent. So after much, much, much research, which I'm glossing over the in-depth amount here, they found a guy who had a connection, who was an acquaintance of this high-ranking politician. While at the same time, while doing all the research on this high-ranking politician, the US government was able to find out that he had a taste for artwork. He loved paintings, he loved fancy art. Throughout his home, he had artwork hanging up all over. Yet there was a piece he was missing. There was a certain piece of artwork painting which he extremely wished he had in his home. So lo and behold, the agency creates the agency, the government, somebody creates a this piece of artwork that this guy wants, and the acquaintance of the high-ranking politician, stay with me, goes to him one day and says, hey, I know you love art. I was able to get this wonderful piece of art. Do you want it? The politician's eyes light up. He says, absolutely, I've been looking for this. The acquaintance gives the politician the art, and he takes it and he hangs it up in his home. Now, of course, as you know, there's more to the story. Inside that artwork was a bug, a listening device. So when this politician in his own home, in his own country, hung up the piece of artwork that his acquaintance had given him, since there was a listening device in it, the US government was able to listen in on a bunch of this politician's conversations and get some very valuable intelligence to help the United States of America. So what's the moral of the story? Well, there's many. One is, when somebody gives you a painting, you wanna check and make sure it's not bought. I'm not done so yet with this, because I just received it, but you better believe I will, because yes, I'm that paranoid. So I will, of course, check all around. First thing, run my fingers around it, uh, but then I will do a much more thorough check and make sure that embedded in the wood back here, there was nothing embedded, no type of listening devices, because I don't know who this gave this to me. I think I know who gave this to me, but I don't know 100% uh, sure. I know it's one of my readers, uh, just not exactly sure. So that is the first lesson. Be careful when you get a painting. The second lesson is be careful when you get any gifts. If somebody gives you something, especially if you have a high ranking type of job, whether it's the US government, whether it's big tech, Facebook, YouTube, Amazon, etc., make sure that gift is not bought. I've had many gifts given to me over the years and obviously you don't know the intention, you don't know what's behind them. So you wanna check them, you wanna have your security team check them thoroughly to make sure there's nothing there. Also, remember the US government likes to do this type of stuff. So if for some reason they may be on to you, may not that you're doing anything illegal, because if you're doing something illegal, you should be caught. But if for some reason you're worried about your privacy, whatever, be careful of what you bring into your house. Be careful what somebody gives you. Also, don't have those Alexas. Don't have those Google Voice Assistants. Don't have those things inside your home. That is the world's easiest listening device to place because you brought it inside your own home, which is the reason I have zero sparse, uh, smart speakers inside my own home, because you're basically giving an open invitation to big 
big tech and the government to spy on you and you're not even making them work for it. So please protect your privacy, especially in this day of age. It's not hard for people to spy on you when every American makes it so easy. So at least as I said, don't bring in all these electronics in your house. Be wary of gifts, of course, unless it looks this awesome, then you might be okay. And make sure you like, subscribe, turn on that ring notification because there's a lot more I got coming your way. And if you really know or really want to know in depth how to protect your privacy, in depth how to evade government surveillance, and again, when I say evade, I mean evade it, not because you're doing anything illegal, and how to make sure Big Brother isn't watching you, click below, you'll see the link below. You will see a very in-depth manual, exactly what I do, exactly what I recommend to my clients of how to make sure you can protect your privacy, avoid the government. I am former CIA officer Jason Hansen. I'm out of here, have a wonderful day, and I'm gonna go sweep this and then hang it up.